And police are searching for a barbecue bandit. You can check out this video. You can see the thief ends up pulling in here with a trailer. This was early this morning, making off with 300 pounds of cooked meat. Now the owners of a well-known barbecue restaurant need your help. As KXN investigator Kevin Clark explains, everything taken is valued at more than $3,000. Jeff Ellis carved out a niche in Austin's competitive barbecue scene thanks to smoked pastrami, and he says a little luck. And that I wasn't thinking that it was going to be popular. But Mum Foods is popular with Austinites and a certain thief who struck early Saturday morning. Surveillance shows him backing his truck and flatbed up to the restaurant's prep facility in South Austin. Five minutes later, the thief is off with 300 pounds of smoked ready-to-eat barbecue. Much of it in this large Yeti cooler, a hot box to keep the meat warm. This really does seem like somebody who knew what was in the trailer, what they were getting themselves into, and um, had a plan, I guess, for, for, for distributing it or selling it. Hot pastrami, brisket, chicken, and sausage all taken out of the Mum Foods trailer. A day's worth of product worth about $2,500. Although this did happen in the early morning, their trailer is right off Stastny, a busy street. What you don't see in that surveillance video is the thief coming over to the trailer and cutting the lock to get inside. Frustrating for the small business owner. There's just a feeling of vulnerability that's uncomfortable. Who couldn't be there to serve pastrami at two farmers markets Saturday. It's a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get it ready to go. You know, we've had many customers contact us today and say, hey, we depended on you guys at the market. We were hoping to see you guys out there. What's going on? Another pitfall for the pitmasters who now need the community's help finding this barbecue bandit. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. Ellis says the thief also stole tables, rubber gloves, and butcher paper. If you have any information about this case, you're asked to call Austin Police.